Wallace calls the gamble and down in turn three, but keeps going. Timmon backed up Wallace, he'll be filthy about that. Morley up, press cross, oh, Morley over the front of Timmon's car. Oh, Wayne Levin into the top, Kevin Timmon, and up he goes. And that was an unfortunate incident. It all started back in turn four. Kevin Tipman backed Todd Wanless, Jason Botton and Peter Thorley up. They all arrived down in turn one and two pretty much in the same patch of racetrack. And then as they come out, Thorley got over the front of Kevin Tipman's car and I think he may have damaged the steering in that because Tipman was heading infield. Wayne Lemon coming out of turn two on the gas. Nowhere to go straight into the side of the RHK Performance Products car. And uh, well, the Mac Trans car upside down but back on its wheels. Plenty of steam coming out of there, but uh, let's hope there's not too much damage done to that car for Wayne Lemon. Safety crews over there at the moment. There's his uh, crew chief, Dave Tracy, just running in to see what he can do. We'll see what's wrong with the car and see if Wayne's okay. But uh, I've got to say, Kevy, just uh, Wayne, once again, innocent bystander in the whole deal and uh, coming out of turn two, nowhere to go. That's very, very true indeed, Pete. Yes, unfortunately, that's happened to him many, many times out here at BIS. As we always say in sprint car racing or any type of racing for that matter, just the wrong place at the wrong time. But I'll tell you what, Wayne Lemon, unfortunately, does seem to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Much damage to the race car. Trev, you're very, very close down there, trackside. I'm just, uh, just looking at Kevin Tipman's car down here, Kev, and, uh, well, a lot more damage than what we thought. He's... Uh, Someone's gone into the left-hand side of the car and it's squashed the, the intrusion bar down onto the uh, steering arm. That in turn has been forced into the headers and it's squashed the headers shut. It, no gas had ever flowed through these set of headers. It's knocked the muffler off, the intrusion bar is dragging on the ground, the steering arm's bent. There's a lot of damage on this car for Kevin Tippmann and plenty of work for the guys to do. The side that Thorley run over has bent, uh, bent both the drag links on the front axle, so... I mean, there's a lot of work and a lot of time, and as you can understand, Kevin Tippmann pretty distressed leaning on the side of the car at the moment. Well, actually, Kevin, uh, Peter, I'm, I should say, Trev, unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago out here at BIS, uh, Kev Tippmann also sustained a lot of damage virtually in the same place going up the back straightaway. So, as you mentioned down there, trackside, a lot of work, a lot of expense in two consecutive nights of sprint car racing. I'll give him a hand, folks. Wayne left out of the car under his own steam. A little dizzy, but okay. Just holding his forearm may have copped a slight bang on the roll cage as it's gone over on, uh, on his right forearm. But uh, a lot of damage on the uh, on the Wayne Lemon car. Certainly the two wings, as you can see. Uh, the front axle, capture Jacob's ladder. So. I don't know if we'll see Wayne back tonight, but uh, let's hope we can. And uh, I'll just grab a quick one with Kevin on the way through. 